Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today I will show you how to download and install Anaconda, which is a Python distribution. So to download Anaconda, just browse Google on your favorite browser and search for Anaconda Python for Windows 10. I'm installing in my Windows 10 system. So click on individual edition. Scroll down. And at the very end, you will find Python 3.7 version of 32 bit and 64 bit. So I will recommend to go for this Python 3.7 version because Python 2.7 version is very old now. If you are learning and planning to start working on this Python programming or data science or machine learning anything. I recommend you to go for Python 3.7 and based on your system hardware, you select this 64 bit or 32 bit. So I'm selecting this 64 bit and it is downloading. Now it has completed the download. So let's go to download folder and just double click on the exe file. Click next. It is asking to install for just for your user or for all user. Based on your requirement, you can choose it. It is showing recommended, but I'm selecting it for all user requires admin privilege. That's fine because it is my personal laptop. Click on next. Asking to install. Click next. And now let it check the second option, which is register Anaconda 3 as the system Python 3.7. Now it is installing and it's showing completed now. Click on next. It has completed the installation. Again, I'm clicking on next. Now PyCharm for Anaconda is available at there. You can install the PyCharm, but at this moment in this tutorial, we are not installing PyCharm for now. So we are completing the Anaconda installation. I'm just unchecking this and click on finish. So we have completed our Anaconda installation and let's see where, how we can use Anaconda. So go to Windows search bar and type Anaconda. You should be getting Anaconda prompt and Anaconda navigator as well. So I'm just clicking on this Anaconda prompt. It has opened this prompt. Now let's see which version of Python it has installed. So Python dash dash version it has installed python 3.7.6 now check the anaconda info which is conda info just type conda info and enter it's showing you the all the information in the directory where it has installed the user config file and the environment details and the platform also win 64 that's why i have installed the 64 bit one now let's open jupyter notebook because once you install anaconda in your system it install jupyter notebook as well so just type jupyter notebook enter sorry my typo it is J U P Y T E R Jupyter Notebook and then enter. Now it will take your default browser and has opened the Jupyter Notebook here. You select the folder first in which folder you want to create your projects. So suppose I am going under documents. Click on create new, create a folder and I want to rename this folder. Click on this rename. Python. Now click on new and select this Python 3. Yes, now it has opened our Jupyter notebook where we can write the commands and execute it. So. Our Jupyter Notebook title is showing untitled. 
so just click over here and give a name my first notebook click on rename so it has renamed now I'm just typing suppose 5 plus 6 and click on shift and enter and it will give you the results so this is the way you run your commands in Jupyter Notebook and we have seen how we installed Anaconda into Windows 10 system. Now so far we have seen that how we opened our Jupyter Notebook from Anaconda prompt. Now let's see there is one more thing which is called Anaconda Navigator. So search box Anaconda Navigator. So click on that navigator and it will open an UI for Anaconda. It's still loading few application contents and now it is almost done. So I'm just unchecking this and clicking on OK. OK and don't show again but based on your choice you can do. And as you see that you have this notebook, PowerShell prompt, Jupyter Lab spider these are already available so if i click on this jupyter launch it opens the jupyter notebook in a separate window well so as of now we have seen that how we did install anaconda into windows 10 system we had anaconda prompt as well as anaconda navigator from prompt we have checked the python version and Anaconda information and then opened the Jupyter notebook. We created one Jupyter notebook, executed one simple instruction and when we opened the Anaconda navigator, we opened the Jupyter notebook from this launch button as well. Thank you for watching this video. Hope it was helpful for you. If you have any question, please write in the comment box below. See you in the next session.